Hey everybody, Ronnie here. So, I am holding this. By the way, have you ever started a video and then discovered that somehow you completely corrupted it? Welcome to my life today. <laughs> this right here is an Epiphone. Uh, it's a little dirty because I have not touched this in a while. But, in fact, it's got webs on it. Oh my god, I need to clean this. Okay. Anyhow, this is an Epiphone Les Paul Special 2. All right, the Special 2, what makes it special is it is a beginner guitar. Okay, this actually came in what is known as the Epiphone Les Paul Special 2 Player Pack. Some things that make the Special 2 a special is it's got two nice humbuckers they work really well they're not microphonic but they're not the super high quality humbuckers you find in more expensive epiphones and gibsons instead of two volumes and two tones it's got a master volume master tone and uh, a three-way switch which is located between the uh the knobs instead of up here and then of course it has a bolt-on neck a lot of folks don't like that I don't care okay bolt-on necks have been working just fine for years but it's just not what is generally found on your average Les Paul style guitar it's also got a flat top instead of an arch top and but yeah other than that this works really well okay it, it did work really well the last time i played it as i explained i <laughs> haven't actually played this in a while so let's go ahead and put this up and there's that all right why am i talking about that guitar today let me go ahead and show you this I was looking for some strings and bought a pack or 12 but while I was doing so I let's go ahead and look at some other stuff while we're online and I came across the old Epiphone Les Paul special 2 player pack and thought oh how wonderful it's like a jaunt down memory lane and I clicked on it and oh my god I don't know if you can tell but this is a little expensive two hundred and eighty nine dollars that's almost three hundred dollars for this pack now in all fairness it does come with a lot okay you get the guitar you get an amp you get a tuner a strap the guitar cable and some picks for two hundred and eighty nine dollars now keep in mind when I bought that Epiphone right there I bought it in the player pack it was of course many years ago but it was the same player pack and I bought it for a grand total of maybe a hundred bucks it got me thinking is it possible to go without the player pack and save some money and get a better deal for a new player the guitar you can find a guitar for under 200 bucks and not a, a bad guitar okay a, a decent guitar for a, a new player I'm gonna make a, a video about that in the next week or so but the question is then what about the rest of the stuff that comes in the player pack okay it comes with a tuner got a tuner all right this is like 20 bucks 
every guitar that you buy comes with a cable okay they're generally not the best cables but they're cables and they'll get the job done I've probably got a dozen of those cheap cables laying around up out here the big thing is it's gonna be that amp okay so I happen to have that amp let me go grab it So, this is it. It's dusty. Haven't been played in a very long time. Okay. This does the trick though. Okay. This amp, it takes the sound that you are generating with your fingers and makes it come out of a speaker. That's an amp. This is very basic. Okay. You have an input, an auxiliary in. Okay. Because you want to play with something, uh, you know. With, with the other music, right? Headphones out. A power switch, of course. Master volume. And just a tr treble and bass. Okay, no mids. There is no gain knob. It's this button right here. Which, as you can see, just says overdrive or clean. So no control there. little I don't know let's get a look here maybe a five inch speaker and 10 watts of blazing metal glory so I was wondering can we put something together for 289 or less probably not <laughs> but what are some other options Okay. Now, also, I guarantee you, no know, Epiphone's not the only player pack, beginner uh, uh, pack that is available out there. Okay. I know Squire makes one. No idea what it costs. But I was just absolutely floored by the the current price of the player pack that I know and love. Okay. Granted, when you get something like that, it's great to learn on, and that's what you're looking for. Something to learn on, okay? You're going to outgrow this in a matter of months. Is it really worth it? Is it worth almost $300 for that player pack? And I can't say that I believe that it is. So let's look at a few other options that are available, okay? Now I'm not going to say that these are all the options. This is not an exhaustive list. All I'm going to do is walk around this room and come up with some other options. Let's go. So this is a simple 20 watt amp maybe a 10 inch speaker I'm not entirely sure I did some searching and let's pop this up everywhere I went it looks like this so I'm guessing PV no longer makes the Viper this is actually a, a pretty cool little practice amp okay like I said it's 20 watts it emulates it has the ability to emulate other amps okay of course they're all basically PV amps okay including the 6505 keep in mind it's emulating a 6505 through a little 10 inch speaker it's not really a 6505 at all it's got a few presets and you can which are located over here and you can modify the presets you can create your own presets and save them it's only got I think it's four presets and maybe two slots on each preset this is not bad okay this is a step up 
that's for sure. But you can pick your, your amp that you're modeling. You have pre-gain and post-gain and three uh, band EQ, low, mids, and high. And of course, this is the master volume. The It also has uh, a switch that you can buy for it. In fact, I might actually have the switch. Let me see. Goodness gracious. Okay, I do not have this. I do have the switch somewhere. All right, that was really weird. But, yeah, I've got the switch somewhere. <laughs> Who the hell knows where it's at? But, once again, that's the thing that I haven't played in a long time. And... Uh, but it does work, okay? I think something that might be similar. I'm trying to think here. Might be like a small katana or a line six catalyst, okay? Something in, in that range. Let's see if I can figure out how much that would be. All right, so a Boss Katana 50 is running about 229. That's a little expensive. Not not as far as an amp goes, but it's uh, a little bit expensive as far as starter goes. But it is about a thousand times better than this. But if you're spending, let's say, $250 on the guitar, adding another $250 for the amp, that's a few dollars, okay? Now all of a sudden you're starting off at 500 bucks. Let's find something else that can fill that niche without breaking the bank. I have one of these. This is a New X Mighty Plug Pro. This just plugs into the guitar. You go out for, with headphones. It charges with USB and it might be able to play over your computer or into some recording software also over that USB. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that. I spent some time on the road and used to carry this with me just so I could play, okay, while I was on the road. It's really good. It's got an app that downloads onto your phone and very full function, okay. You can add amps, cabs, effects, all just about anything you want, okay, even set the, the order. but. If, if I remember correctly, it's been a little bit, but it's fantastic. The app works great. This works great. If you are a younger person in a house with parents that maybe don't need to be hear you learning how to play the guitar, this is an excellent option. Um, this is, if I remember correctly, not even that expensive. Let me see if I can find a price for you. Mighty Plug Pro. All right. And evidently I... broke that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, $119. That's even better. Yeah, that's very doable. Okay. Keep in mind, you're not going to be making a lot of noise with this. 
But that's not necessarily a bad thing, especially for learning. Another option is this right here, the Line 6 Pod Express. This is fantastic. This, when it came out less than a year ago, maybe at a year ago, this is a game changer. It's a little bit bigger, okay, but still quite portable. And this has absolutely replaced this. But this here is an amp emulator, okay? It has all the effects that you could want, okay? You've got gain and distortion, modulation, delay, and reverb. And if you take the delay and you put it all the way over, it's a looper. It's that your, your input, stereo output, these two. It's got a port for an expression pedal. It runs off of 9 volts DC. And it has a USB port, which not only provides power, but does 100% act as a DI for your computer. This is fantastic. I don't remember how much I paid for it. A couple hundred bucks, I think. Let me look that up. Line 6 Pot Express. $179. So $179. That's not bad. Okay, and the cool thing is, like I said, you can output it to an amp or not to an amp you can output it to speakers you can you can actually output this to an amp what i use this a lot for okay when i'm not on the road oh and you can output to headphones but something that i use this a lot for when i'm not on the road is delay modulation and reverb this replaces a ton of pedals sometimes Okay, it, there are other bespoke pedals that I absolutely would prefer to use for, especially for things like gain, distortion, fuzz. So, those are options. Getting it more into an intermediate area, we could look at this right here. This Laney IRF Dual Top, Ironheart Foundry Dual Top. I love this, okay? It's small, it's compact, but at the same time, this is, it, 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 it's just an amp, okay? It's a fantastic amp. This right here, it's sitting on my desk, okay? For a reason. I do have it, uh, it's got a DI out. I, I might do a, a whole video about this at some point. But it's got a DI out, runs over an XLR cable. This does have a cabinet simulator, which it's either a 1x12 or a 4x12. And it is fantastic, okay? I got some inexpensive pedals in, and I'm going to do a video on them. And I'm going to run them through this dual top right here. The reason it's a dual top is it has a clean channel and a high gain channel and let me tell you both of those are fantastic the clean channel is completely clean okay the only way that i can push the clean channel into any distortion is by using like uh that black harley benton right there um you know if you have active pickups of course you can over uh you can uh, overdrive uh, uh, a clean channel but other than that it is perfectly clean okay if you turn off the clean channel which I just did then you do have a gain knob and this is a low gain okay it's still very gainy but it's that's a, a lower gain when you switch to channel 2 it is very gainy, okay, very high gainy. We're talking metal without a pedal, okay. This is a, a fantastic amp. 
let's see how much that cost me. I think it was like 400 bucks. If I can spell. All right, yeah, 429. Once again, this is not, I mean, it's completely beginner friendly. Can't really mess it up. But it doesn't have a beginner friendly price. So the, but it is a fantastic intermediate, even advanced amplifier. And oh, it's got a cool party trick, just like any other Laney amplifier. If I can find the power button. The red glow. I love it. Okay. Yeah, there's that. A little bit more advanced. And this is getting up into the... Between five and $600 range is that right there. That is another Line 6 product. It's Line 6 Spider 5 240HC. Which is the head unit. It actually has in the, the bottom here, a couple of speakers. So it is an amp and cab, but just by hooking up the four by 12 underneath it, you can, it's automatically turns off the speakers up here and goes down there. Now the speakers up here are pretty darn good. Okay. I might have a talk about the Spider 5 series later, but when it's, not hooked up to a, an external cabinet. It's only putting out like 50 watts, which is less than this. Okay, this is a 60 watt. That's only a, a 50 watt, and it it's more in line as far as the the sound goes to a practice amp. But like I said, hook up the bigger cab, and all of a sudden it's just a really great amp. It's a modeling amp. So you can choose different amp sims. Okay, it's got a ton of presets and uh, a, a few play, a few empties that you can save uh, your own custom presets into. But it's fantastic. So I hope that kind of gave some ideas for alternatives to the free amp that comes in your beginner player packs if you've got 230 bucks or 220 bucks whatever it is and to play around with and that's it you still can't go wrong with something like the epiphone or squire player pack they're, they're still fantastic platforms to get started on some things like the PV, okay, which, like I said, they don't make anymore. That's sad because it really was good, okay. But go with a katana or a catalyst, even a one of the smaller Line Six Spider Fives, still work just fine, okay. Or I think it says they still work just fine. For the last couple of years, they've finally worked just fine, <laughs> but they are fine. Like I said, I'll, I'll have to make a, a video about that at some point. And then, of course, you have options like the Mighty Plug and the Pod. Okay, it's these are absolutely viable options. Okay, this is a little bit more versatile because you can output to an amp or speakers or just use the headphone jack or the USB into your computer and any of that will work just fine and save you some money okay uh, you know for like I said an extra hundred bucks this is uh, actually a really good deal, and you can absolutely practice with this and a pair of headphones. Let me know what you think. 
Do you have any other options? I'm just going off of what I happen to have right here in this room. Um, but uh, yeah, do you have any other options, any suggestions for new players that maybe don't want to spend all that money on a player's pack? Okay, and want to start off with something a little bit better. Like I said, I'm in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start looking into some affordable options to move beyond the Epiphone, the, the actual guitar itself. And let me know if you have any options, uh, any, any thoughts about that. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.